Hello and welcome once again to the Stephen Mendes channel. Thanks for watching our videos. We are still playing around with the shepherd tones and now we've constructed a patch that will allow us to play a shepherd scale on the keyboard. Observe our keyboard as we come down the chromatic scale. Notice we've gone from the C sharp to the C and it's actually gone lower. Let's play it a little quicker for you, shall we? So what's different about this patch than the other ones that we were doing with the shepherd scale with the shepherd glissando let us see we have the same two oscillators and once again they're set an octave apart as you can see here one is set to 8 foot the other is set to 16 foot and once again we're taking the two sine wave outputs and we're sending them through two separate VCAs. Now this time the one volt per octave is coming from the multiple here where we have the pitch signal from our MIDI so that we're taking the pitch CV control voltage from the keyboard and sending it to the one volt per octave control of the oscillators in the normal way. Our setup over here on the two VCAs that are going along with the two oscillators is very similar to how it was in our glissando except that in this case we are not using the knobs at all instead we're generating our control signal uh, between 0 and 5 volts and putting it directly into the control input 2 so all the knobs are set to 0 now because we only have a one volt difference, remember it's one volt per octave and we're playing an octave and we want to stretch that one volt to five volts or nearly to five volts and we want to spread it out and uh, we want to offset it from zero to positive five volts to drive our VCAs. So hence we use our signal processor. However, because our signal processor will only amplify up to 200%, we can only make a 1 volt difference into 2 volts. And as you can see, it's maxed out there at the 200%, and we've got the offset at minus 5, so we're working with maximum offset. And then we're taking the output of that, and we're sending it into the lower half in order to invert it, you notice that we have our switch set to invert and um, that g reverses the direction of the, the, um, the signal but we have to offset it some more as you can see we've got that offset swung fully over the other way to plus 5 volts because we want our final signal to be always above zero. We can't have it going down below zero, we just want one to go from five to zero and the other one to go from zero to five. Now because I was limited uh, with only 200% amplification to amplify that difference, I wondered if perhaps the instrument amplifier Q118 would amplify DC. However, it does not. It only amplifies an AC signal, so it must have some sort of capacitor on the input, but it's not able to amplify the DC, or I would have been able to boost it to whatever I wanted. So my next concern was, how was I going to get uh, a source that will, will vary, uh, provide the signal that I need? And what I decided to do, I decided to use the standards unit, the standards module for a purpose for which it was not really intended. 
I set it to, I set the octave to plus 10 volts. Sorry, 10 octave. So it gives me 10 volts output. That's the main thing. I'm getting a positive 10 volt output from the standards module. You can see it coming out here and that orange cable at the output. And the toggle switch is set to plus. The semitone to zero. And the octave to plus 10 volts. So we're taking our 10 volt signal and we're putting it into another VCA. We're putting that in here with the, with the orange cable on signal input 1 into this VCA here next to the power switch. And uh, what we have in here now essentially is we are sending our CV signal coming from the MIDI module into the control input 1 and we have the control number one level we can't have it right over to the full 10 as you can see it's going to 8.8 .8 there 8.8 .8. so what is happening is that that is also amplifying the change of one volt going into the control into two volts because we have the 10 volts coming in so every one volt change in the control signal causes a two volt change in the output so we take the output from that VCA and we feed it into the input of our signal processor so that allows us to get just a tad over four volts change uh, where we would have loved to go from zero to five across the octave but that was not possible with the system I had here so I just got a 2 volt change in the VCA and a 2 volt change in the signal processor which gave us uh, a total uh, control signal change of, of, of just over 4 volts and so we, are, we now have the two signals coming from the signal processor and having the offset set so one is actually climbing from 0 to 5 volts as we go up the scale and the other one is actually falling from 5 volts back to 0 as we go up the scale or vice versa as we come down the scale one is climbing from 0 to 5 volts in one VCA and falling from 5 volts to 0 in the other VCA well it's not actually 5 volts I got it like 4.5 coming down to half a volt so we haven't got the VCA completely open or completely closed but the little half a volt on either end doesn't matter. I've got the offset set so it's really working between say 4.5 volts and 0.5 volts. So the same identical patch is, will give us both the ascending shepherd scale and the descending shepherd scale.